<clears throat> oh, that's not a good start. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to Factorio. I'm going to start off by uh, actually uh, getting rid of some of these. Ah, oh, how do I get rid of some of them? I forgot now. Uh, middle click to delete. Why is it always middle? Oh, okay, so that is middle click. Uh, yeah. Because those have been there for a while, and I don't think I've looked at them once, so... Yeah, can kind of ignore them. Okay. So, what is on the agenda for today? Ah, uh, let's have a look. Why is... Why is stone brick not being done anything with? Probably because we forgot to set up an array for stone brick. We got so excited about zinc, and nickel and all of that sort of crap that we just plum forgot about stone brick so let's get that done really quickly and that is going to be a logistics based setup for now because <clears throat> damn it i took a cough drop and i'm still coughing i do not know we're just that'll just have to be a thing i guess um doesn't seem like there's much i can do about it there we go put these down and I'm assuming the belts are taken care of. It looks like they are. So you are another tin line. So this guy goes like this. And then we just want to have a line established on here. So it's sort of saying, here's my line for stone. You know, don't touch it or move over it or anything like that. Blah, 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 blah. Thousand stone goes in there. These guys need to be turned around. Excellent. A whole bunch of these guys. And then you... Go like that. Sometimes it's even, like it goes up perfectly, and sometimes it's one off. I think it's something to do with these things are sometimes split apart a bit. See, this is all messed up now, this side. But once I get it to this point... No, it's still messed up. God damn underground's bloody annoying the crap out of me. So now it's fine. I've just messed it up further up there. Okay. That's alright. We're okay for now. So, now we need to get it in the stone brick pile, which is over here. So I see here is going to be fine. And you, stone brick, are normally coming out of there. That's fine. I don't feel like we need to do that much. So let's clear out this line, because that line is no longer required. And it's ironic that I've made a beautiful smelting area and a beautiful bus, but the feed line into the bus is so, so much spaghetti. It's like some of the worst spaghetti I've ever seen. But... Maybe purple undergrounds will make this a little bit better. I doubt it though. Okay, so you are now going to be screwing up there. So what we do is, oh man, we've got all sorts of problems here. We can't go directly. So let's go like this. Oh, the spaghetti, just because you put undergrounds everywhere does not mean that you do not have a crap load of spaghetti everywhere. And that should be stone brick taken care of. Although it's still backed up pretty easily. Why for are you not working? Okay. There we go. Excellent. Let's just follow that down the line. Whoop, come on, buddy. Where are you? Where are you? I don't think it's coming. What did I do wrong here? Nothing. It's just taken its sweet bloody time. Blue undergrounds, blue belts are supposed to be really, really fast, okay? No excuses. You're supposed to be really, really fast. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe if they made undergrounds like instantaneous movement from here to there, they'll be kind of broken, but yeah, it would be kind of awesome at the same time. So, let's just wait for it to go up there because I really want to make sure that this is actually working because so many of these setups that I do just don't work. They just don't work at all. Okay, 
click this chest. And boom, tons of stuff going in there. Excellent. So that's stone brick taken care of. What else are we missing here? Gold and aluminium, they're advanced metals. Titanium is an advanced metal. You are glass. You are not there. Glass is not there. We should probably do glass as well because glass is going to be fairly straightforward. And that's another simple one that we can do over here. And I suppose that'll come from the direction of the train network as well because... Okay. So we get another thing here. And yes. So we can... Ore is for glass. Oh man, I still get that song going on in my head every time I say the word glass and... I think I sang it at one point during an episode. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to subject... Ooh, a thousand. That guy is going fast. I remember he had problems at some point. But he is going fast right now. Let's just... Yes, yeah, so as soon as I try and do it normally... This is going to annoy me. I wonder if it's worth fixing it. I have a feeling that it's not. I have a feeling that it's just not. Now, we need to start the magical process of actually getting it to where it needs to go. Which shouldn't be too hard because it's over here. So, oh, it's actually down here. It's down in the bottom level. So that is going to be here. Oh, almost made it. That's fine. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And this thing was doing it before, wasn't it? So we can get rid of that, we can get rid of that, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of all that. I don't know what this line was doing. Was that some sort of wacky carbon-based deal? No, that was our other copper. <clears throat> From the, uh, <clears throat> from the whatchamacallit, from the uh, cobalt processing. And we will need to do that again at some point. May not use that line, but there we go. Nice and easy go the dice. How are you not doing anything? Oh, the stone's just not reaching the end, which is fine. We don't have a lot of stone, apparently, but... Yeah, well, it's just going through it so fast. We're only requesting a thousand. I'm sure if we started requesting like twenty thousand, then it would be fully sick. But it's backing up anyway. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's backed up here already. So eventually that'll back up, and that's fine. So there's the simple things done. Now we can either do advanced metals today, or we can start working a little bit more heavily on the tier. Two, the Mark Two and Mark Three Mall, which I kind of feel like is a good idea to just start doing that. So I am going to do it, and we really do want everything up here. We really do want everything. Um, and oh, I'm still debating whether I actually build these automatically, and I'm starting to think it's a good idea. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm starting to think it's a good idea. We're not going to need a chain for these guys. Like, this is a chain from Mark 1 to Mark 4. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll put those into the mall later on. Maybe. Uh, not going to worry about it for the moment. We'll just keep it normal. Let's go into... Alright, so you are just pipes. We don't care about you. These guys will be made on top of the uh, existing system down here. We'll just enhance that. And we should have plenty of room because I don't think we're going to have to build a lot more of these guys. Uh, and if we do, they will probably be logistic space, so they'll be fine. You are lead. You need to be dead. What do we got? 20 of these. We've got 20 already. Oh, that's so close. That's so close. So we put you here. And we put you here. And we put an active there, then you will be able to do anything. 
Excellent. Good speed module, these, but I feel like we're not in a rush to destroy that. It will get done eventually. Uh, is there something over here as well? There is something over here. Stone. So let's get rid of Mr. Stone as well. So this will be a you go like that covers that and you go like that and you go like that and then we put a couple of actives in there and that'll be a bit more storm weathering the storm in this space is what we're doing uh so let's get back to it so on this thing uh cargo wagons nah not really gonna worry might need some robo chests actually because Actually, I don't know. I feel like robot chests don't actually, robots don't actually go to them and get stored because the thing is, we've got a lot of robots and I don't think we've got that many logistics robots. Although, I have a feeling if the robots all died down and they stopped being used, that we wouldn't have enough robot pods to actually store them and they just sort of hang around. And that might be a problem in a normal base, but since we've got nuclear robots, maybe it's not a problem. So we're not gonna worry about these too much. I should start using these though, logistics zone expanders, because this guy takes a lot of components to build, but does expand the logistics zone, which could be useful. But then again, we were just talking about how we don't have a lot of robot storage. Um, and this is actually less, well, at Mark III, yeah, at 90 versus 150. So we would be taking the Mark III's and the Mark IV's. So yeah, considering we want robot storage, I feel like we just keep with the robot ports everywhere. They're a little bit bulkier, so maybe if there's some hard to reach places that we need, we can start doing stuff like that. What are you up here? No, you're, you're iron and you're stone. What are you? Lithia water. I thought it was like silver or tin or something for a second there, but no. Okay, so I feel like this, this thing is just, it's a little bit of a wash. Robo ports are going to be the big thing, actually. And maybe that's what we'll do. Because I feel like putting these guys right below here is good. Because in the next thing, we're going to have all of the uh, production buildings. And that'll take a lot of space. So I feel like we can do robo ports here. Start making that a thing. And we don't have any of these. But what we will do is we will go down, take half of those. And then we'll need slightly less materials to build the red ones. And the red ones eventually will be built as part of this mall and the blue ones and the purple ones and the green ones. We will build all of them and eventually we will just be using green ones because three and a half crafting speed is pretty nuts. Would have been nice if they went up to four, but you know, three and a half. Yeah, I mean, what, what am I going to do? Edit the mod file and make it so that it does uh, four instead of three and a half? No, I'm not going to do that because you know, I do have some some level of principles i'm pretty sure i do okay so what do we need for robot ports so you need basic plate so we got our iron or we got our steel and we got our titanium and then we got three components and then we got the big guy so two three four so what we're going to do is we're going to have this and this and then this, this, and of course we're out of the damn things. Oh, man. I really would like to actually make these guys in a mall, but the problem is I don't like requesting them. I could, but there's so many things that I need to request and it's kind of hard. Although, character logistics slots, this does go up to 20. Thank you, Bob. This originally only goes up to like five, I think, but this guy has pushed it a lot further up. So that does help us, actually. Wait, does the level 20, 10 to 20? They still do six each. Okay, so that's fine. Um, as opposed to just one each. I've had some research where I think it starts going up by one instead of 10 or something like that. Maybe that's for something else. What are you giving me? I don't know what it is, but I feel like you're just still doing a good job, so that's fine. Okay, so let's start off with these guys. Two, three, four. They are so evenly colored. 
Now, what I feel like doing is going into the requested chest and manually putting these in steel, copper cable, and electronic circuit boards. It's kind of a toss up between uh, the options for doing this, but if I put it in manually, then they will select big numbers. And if I shift click, they will select the small numbers and then I'll have to go in to the chest and I have to click it and I have to drag and I have to find the exact number. And it's somewhat easier just to click the damn thing, in my opinion anyway. Whoop, don't wanna do that. Okay, so you are a single slot, single slot. I don't know if there's anything that won't need to be a single slot here. Um, Maybe stuff like these guys at the end that we actually care about, but we'll change them later on. Okay. So now you need electronic circuits, aluminium plate, tin copper wire. And I'm pretty, I'm starting to get a lot better at uh, tin copper wire. Shit, I missed an, oh, aluminium plate. Yes, aluminium plate. So I'm starting to get a lot better, so I feel like I'm a bit more comfortable doing that sort of crap. And then here you are green, Nickel and insulated wire, which is easy. Green, nickel, 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 and insulated wire. Oh, yes. I think it's still faster to do it that way. And then you are gilded, gold, nickel, and blue. So, gilded, blue, gold, and nickel. We're missing the blue, but other than that, I think we can actually build everything here. Um, that's cool. So we can make Mark 3s. Maybe Mark 3 Robo Ports are going to be a thing soon. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. So you go like that. Go like that. Alrighty, let's do the next set. Yeah. What I should do is I should make these chests empty and put down all the inserters and get you over there. So that's now a single slot. Put down the inserters, not that inserter. I don't know why I still have those inserters to be honest. Alrighty, now we just blueprint this guy. So that's the second, the third rover port component and then the big one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this guy down in there as well. And I don't think we'll fill this guy in. We'll just leave that there so we can blueprint it later on. So robots, charging pad one, charging pad two, charging pad three and charging pad four. Oh, would you look at that? They don't actually take each other as components. Well, 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 well. That's very interesting and awesome. Uh, so we can get rid of some of this stuff then. We can get rid of that, we can get rid of that, we can get rid of that. Uh, I'm not going to change too much else because we've already got it here, so we might as well use it. Steel and circuits, easy as. Steel and circuits. And I've got to have these bigger numbers rather than the, the default ones just because... Steel circuits and batteries, just because otherwise the throughput isn't high enough. Now I know I said I don't really care about throughput, but the problem is the bots will bring 10 and then they get built in about a second and then the bots are like, oh, I need another 10. And then it takes half an hour for the, the next set of 10 to get there because it's a decent distance to travel and the bots aren't incredibly fast yet. Lithium, green titanium. Lithium. Oh, where's my lithium? Now you might think we don't actually need to build the level twos and level threes, but you would be wrong. And the reason you are wrong is because I said so. And that is the only reason that matters because uh, green and titanium. Yeah, because I mean, we might need it at some point and it's good to have them and we're only filling up a single chest. So green, lithium and titanium, blue, green batteries and nitinol. We'll set this up now because then we don't have to set it up later. Green batteries and nitinol. Good old nitinol. I feel like once we get that, everything will just open up. But nitinol, since it takes up so much titanium, it's just going to be like, whoa. It's, it's just going to be huge. So, you and you. Steel and gears. Okay, gears is going to be interesting because um, obviously 
steel plate, steel bearing, steel gear wheel, steel plate. We're going to need to get rid of these as well. Steel plate, steel bearing, no, steel gear wheel, and steel bearing. That's what I said. Uh, titanium, titanium bearing, and titanium gear wheels. Oh, yeah. You know what? This is, is not the most exciting thing in the world, but let's just do it. Let's just get it done. Let's just get it done, and then we can move on to more exciting things. Um, knit it all. Ooh, knit an old plate. What was that? And then knit an old bearing and knit an old gear wheels. There we go. All right, done. And then we're going to build the actual robo ports here. So Mark One, and we might still need Mark Two, uh, Mark Ones for something like the solar array. So that's why I am okay with making them. And you are going to be steel, and then those three. So steel. And then these three, one, one, one. And you are going to be steel and the level twos of everything, which is just easy as, just easy as. So level two, level two, and level two. And you are going to be titanium and the next level which is also very easy. <coughs> so, three, three, and three, and then you, of course, are gonna be Nitinol and level fours. So, almost there, almost there. Uh, four, four, and four, excellent. So that's done our robo port. For now, we will start producing level three robot pods, I believe. Yep, we got everything we need for those. You are missing the robot port hatches. You are not building because you don't have gears, because we're not building gears yet. So this will be another very, very simple setup. But what we're gonna do is we're going to make a few of them, actually. Oh, nope, too far away, you guys are too far away. I don't know whether we need a lot, but let's just make four and let's just say it's good. One, two, three, four. It's not really the amount you're storing, it's more the throughput, to be honest. So it's better to have more machines and have the chess outputting uh, do less. So iron. And then you guys are going to be gears. And they're always on the wrong tab. I always forget that. And then what do we need? I feel like there was something else missing here like this. Steel gears and steel bearings. Oh, bloody steel gears and steel bearings. So we're going to have two machines making steel gears because I don't feel like they're needed as much as the normal gears. And give me some steel, please. And steel. And then, what is uh, these guys? Steel bearings. One steel plate, 16 steel bearing balls. So we're going to have a bit of a setup here. For this, so... You get your stuff, you get your stuff, you get your stuff. So you are going to be steel ball bearings. Ugh. You know what? If we're going to do this, we might as well use the... We got any of these in my inventory? Bit hard to see. I suppose they would be up the top, wouldn't they? Use the extremely fast and then you are going to be... The steel bearings, which we're going to do here, and you are going to be that and that, and my extremely fast ones go here. Excellent. That should be fast enough for that one. 
one steel for 12 and then two steel bearings for 16 so they kind of a steel bearing is kind of a one-to-one -one. got some being delivered got some being delivered where's the steel for this guy come on get your asses in gear please here they go this will be it I feel like we're kind of overdoing it here. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely overdoing it. You know what, actually? I should really line these up a bit better. Uh, pick up all that stuff. I keep forgetting that I have um, good old Bob's. Uh, Bob's helping me out with these uh, fancy inserters. Keep on forgetting that. So we get you. I guess I did that because I was like, oh, so you need to pick up there and you need to drop there. There we go. That's pretty awesome. So now, oh, you need to be steel bearings. Yes, look at that guy. It's just going nuts. I think this built up like a hundred and just whoosh. Half of a quarter of a second later, it was all done. So, we're at the 26 minute mark and all we did was the robo ports. So, you know what? I feel like maybe I should be doing a bit more stuff in between episodes because we're doing a lot of stuff and it's kind of, yeah, some of it is awesome and some of it is just, you know, it's just monotonous. And you don't have these things? I could have sworn you had these things. I'm not putting them out. Why am I not putting them out? Because I don't have any titanium. Because we cut that off. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's definitely a thing that we have to deal with. But that's, you know, that's just something we have to deal with. We're actually building? What? Oh, we must have had some in stock. Some of these level three. No, we should have had some titanium in stock. And that built that stuff. So now we've got level three robo ports. Not building anything level four. But that's all knit and all. Everything needs knit and all and gilded copper wire which we can build so maybe we should do that just get that stuff built because we're gonna need it eventually so we might as well you know you should so i guess you might as well you guys get bonus points if you know what song that's from uh, gold plate copper cable you are a small chest. So, gold plate, copper cable. Let's get this done. And then we will finish the episode off. Because I feel like that's a good plan. Alright. And, yeah. Maybe we'll um, fix some of the more monotonous stuff outside the episode. Because then we can get more actually done. And, yeah. It'll, the episodes might be a little bit more exciting and stuff like that. Because, yeah, we we basically did the full episode just setting up these robot ports. And I feel like we could have done more. I've been feeling that, like that quite a bit, actually. So, anyway, we're going to finish the episode off here. Next episode, um, yeah, we're going to be doing stuff. So, I will catch you guys then. Stay tuned.